So I found an interesting package in my mail today. The return address didn't look familiar, and when I opened it up and took the item out, it was just completely wrapped in this black plastic. I was really confused because it weighs almost 20 pounds. But anyway, I started unwrapping it and unwrapping it, and finally I got to what was inside. It's a giant graded cards returns from almost two years ago. I completely forgot I even sent these out. But then it reminded me. I wanted to see if I get a perfect 10 black label Pokemon card. So we have over 100 graded Pokemon cards, and my goal today is to see if we could just get one single perfect black label card. So we got a random selection of three stacks in the background here, and I'm just going to go in and just grab cards. Also, one thing I want to note is there's two cards down here that are actually in, like, plastic sleeves. I don't know if that's a sign that they might be really good cards or grades. We're going to find out, though. I say we start with this stack. All right. So our first card, ooh, okay, it's got like a gold. Wait, that's actually a really good sign. Are we gonna start off with something crazy? Oh, 9.5 gem mid Pikachu from Shining Legends, nice. And really quickly, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm gonna be giving away five of the graded cards in today's video. So there's gonna be five winners and to enter the giveaway, number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And number three, down below in the comment section, you gotta let me know, be honest. Do you think that we're gonna get a perfect black label card from this returns. We got over 100 cards, so we definitely have a shot, but it's gonna be really tough. Dang, that, this, these are cool. So the slabs for Beckett are a lot thicker, and this is a Beckett returns, by the way. Um, but they're pretty well known, and um, I, I really like it. It's a little bit different. I didn't get subgrades on these, but apparently, I think if you do get a 10, you automatically get subgrades on the card. I hope we can figure that out today, though. All right, let's keep going through this first stack. I definitely have Charizards. I have a whole bunch of really cool stuff in here. So, next card's gonna be... Oh, there's a Charizard, just like that. A 9-5 Gem Mid Charizard GX from Hidden Fates. This is the card that you get on top of the Hidden Fates tins. It's not the toughest card to get, but having it in a 9-5 Gem Mid in a Beckett slab is still pretty cool. And yeah, so I didn't get the subgrades done on these cards because it would just get even more expensive, and they're not the most valuable cards. I mean, unless you get like a 10 or a black label. I like this. That means, I think that the color of that means that it's a 9-5 or better. Maybe we get a 10. Okay, another 9-5. Nice. Let's keep going. I want to see what's down here. What would they put in sleeves? Two cards. Better be some some black label or something crazy. An 8-5. Okay, there we go. Shining Ho-Oh. Nice. These are from the Elite Trader boxes from Shining Legends. So 8-5 is definitely lower. So as you guys can see, like the color of this label is actually silver because it's below, I think, a 9-5. And it is crazy. The price of this is only $25 like for the market value. And this is straight out of an Elite Trainer box. Like I pulled it myself. I sent it in. That's all. That's that's it's tough to grade with this company. That's what it is. This company and CGC, they're strict. And it's it's just hard. It just it's just difficult. There we go. Okay, now we got a nine on this one. So yeah, definitely if you have a nine or lower, you're gonna have, I guess, the silver um, color. I think they even get even like different sort of like colors than that as you go lower. All right, so you know, we, we wanna try to get nine or higher, I would say, for these kinds of cards. All right, an eight five, we do have a Pikachu Shining Legends. This is from the pin collection boxes. Also, check out that crazy swirl. Look at that. That is awesome. Is that on every card or just on this one? All right, we're gonna find out. I definitely have more of those. All right, let's continue, though. I want to see a 9.5 or higher. I want to see a 10 eventually. All right. Oh, there we go. We have the Charizard V4 Elite Trainer Box promo card from Champion's Path. That did get the 9. So, yeah, you know, you, you I kind of want a 9.5 or better, to be honest with you guys. So you get the gold label. It says Gem Mint and everything like that. 9.5s could be comparable to, like, a PSA 10, maybe. Not every time, but sometimes it can be. I don't remember how much it was to grade each card. It might have been, like... 10 to 15 dollars each or something like that depending on when i sent them but yeah i didn't want to pay any more with the subgrades and stuff like that to put on these all right there we go another pink collection peak show unfortunately an 8.5 and yeah that one doesn't have that crazy swirl check this out that is one of the coolest swirls i've ever seen look at that that's so clean all right nine fives are better let's go 8.5 again shining legends uh pin collection pikachu we're getting closer to these sleep things here all right, next one. What do we got? Silver, so it's a 9 or lower. 8.5 Pikachu Shining Legends. All right, let's keep rolling here. Next one is another 8.5 Pikachu Shining Legends. All right, here's our sleeved one. Here's our sleeved one. One of the two. What is going to be in here? What is going to be in here? Wait. Um, so I see some paperwork. It's telling me. It, it looks like it's showing something. It says final grade, something else. What the? What is this? Shining Legends Pikachu, no subs. What is happening? Hold on. Something not get graded? Oh, wait, there's something still in a card saver. What happened? 
Okay, well, we have a Charizard 8.5, but something didn't get graded. Bill didn't want to grade this. What's not, what what I do, Bill? What happened? Evidence of color added. What? No shot, Bill. Bill, all these are straight from uh, boxes. Bill. What? Evidence of color, like, no joke. Every single one of these cards were taken out of collection boxes. Bill, I don't know. We might have to have a talk. That's all I'm saying. That is actually pretty crazy that they thought that there was evidence of color added on this thing. That's wild. Oh, wait. Okay, I thought that they would say where it was, and actually, I, I missed it until now. So it says on the front, bottom right. Front, bottom right. Uh, but my, there's nothing there. What do you mean? <laughs> I, mean I, I mean, I don't see it. I don't see anything. You guys tell me. This is like a normal card. All right. I don't know. I was really hoping that was going to be a black label in there, something really cool that they were like, let's let's sleeve it up. Let's sleeve it up for them. All right. Next one is going to be a silver, so it's going to be a 9 or lower, and another 8.5. These aren't too great, 8.5s. We were doing good at the beginning, and now we're kind of getting beat up. Oh, no. Bill. Bill. Dude, what did I do to you? Is it Bill? It's Bill again. All right, Bill. We love you. It's fine. It's doing your job. It's doing your job. Ooh, okay. A nine shining ho. -Oh. That's not bad. We'll take a nine. And, uh, uh, what? Evidence of color added. What are you talking about? <laughs> Front? What? What? Is I'm confused. I'm actually, like, I want to see what you see. I want your I, I want I want to be able to see that. Okay. I want to see what you see. So front left side close to the top. You see it right there? So I'm gonna go right there on this card. Bro, what? There's nothing there. Are we talking about the same card? What is happening? There's literally no, there's nothing there. I'm no, uh, I don't know. That Mm. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of changes my viewpoint a little bit of their expertise on certain things now that we now that this happened. And, and the, the only reason is because I am 110% sure that every single card in this submission I pulled out of boxes, elite trainer boxes, pin collection boxes. So there's 0% chance that that could be colored. And I, in, in all honesty, I don't even know. I don't even see anything. There's nothing even there that I could even see where I'm like, okay, I saw a little something, so maybe that's why they thought that. There's no, like, there's nothing there. <laughs> okay. I'm even going to actually look up close with this with a magnifying glass and see if we could see anything. I don't know how clear it is for you guys, but I was looking up and down this thing at 60x, and I didn't see anything that looked off. Anyway, let's continue. Next up, oh no, that doesn't look silver. That looks white. I think that's a really bad grade. Oh, 7.5. Oh no. Is that more? Oh. Seven? We're going, it's all downhill. It is all downhill from here. Ooh, six. Oh my God, it really is downhill. That isn't even worthy of a silver. I'm hoping we could just, okay. Ooh, eight. I'm hoping that we can at least get a 10, even if it's not the black label. All right, seven. I see something good. That's gold. Okay, I'm pretty sure gold means that you you can get a 10. It doesn't. It's not a perfect, perfect 10, but you could still get a 10. Then the label, if it's black, means it's a perfect 10. 9-5, close. Okay, we got another gold label. A 9-5, can we get a 10? We're, we're just struggling to see if we can just get, at least get the 10, the normal 10. 9-5, don't be another 9-5, be a 10. 9-5 again. All right, let's continue. We got a silver label bringing us a 9. Basically, you can tell from the back, that's silver, that's an 8-5. So is it 8, lower than 8, then you don't have a silver? We got a 9 and then we do have an eight five. All right, come on. Oh, an eight. Oh wait, so it's an eight or lower. You have the white label. Eight or lower. So now we know if we see a white label, it's an eight or lower. Silver, an eight five. We are getting beat up right now because these are all, every single card in here is straight from a pack, straight from a, like a promo sleeve or whatever. Uh, we got a nine straight from a tin, etc. We got an eight five. Charizards everywhere. We got an eight five. Some of you guys might remember I did a returns like this with PSA with these same exact type of cards. While I did that, I sent them to PSA, I sent them to Beckett, and I sent them to CGC. So I split up a whole bunch of them. We got a Pikachu in an eight. We got an 8.5 Charizard. Oh, a nine Charizard. We got an eight five Shining Ho. Why are they all mixed up too, by the way? I put them all in like in stacks. 
It's completely random. I just grabbed all these. Okay. Come on. Give me a 10. Oh, 9-5. That's actually pretty solid, though. More stacks on the table. Let's go. First up, Silver brings us an 8-5 for our Charizard. We're going to kind of fly through these. Silver, again, 9. We want to see a, at least a gold right now. 8-5. If we can get a 10 on the gold, that'll make me at least a little bit more optimistic that we can maybe make it to a black label. But right now, I'm... Uh, oh, we're getting beat up. We are getting beat up. 8-5s are definitely not ideal. Not ideal. We got a 9. I mean, still it's cool to get these because I really don't have many Beckett. Uh, there we go. The 9 graded cards. But, yeah, this is not not too many great ones. So, I have pulled a black label one time. It was in the beginning of the channel. It was pretty... It was actually really crazy. But I did pull a black label at one point. Um, and that was wild. But that's never happened to me since then. And this is, this is just to show you how tough this is. Like, these are all... Oh... Straight from a PAX. At least this will give you guys an idea of like, yo, should I send stuff to Beckett or CGC? I'm telling you, they're tough. That's tough. We got a ride shoe though. We haven't seen one of these yet. All right, ride shoe maybe. Nope, another peak. I don't know. And the other thing is, I have no idea why these are all mixed up. Oh, a six. Ooh, a six. Seven. Oh my gosh, that's crazy low. I wasn't getting grades that low when I did PSA for these exact same cards. Nine. Oh, that's not that bad, but for Beckett, it's kind of not that great. Nine, okay. Nine is like, all right. All right. Eight, five. Eight, five. Nine, okay, there we go. Nine, Raichu. That's not too bad. Whew. We are getting beat up. Eight. Oh, seven, five. Like, what? How do you come to that? How do you come to that number? I don't even know how you get to that number. Eight. We got an 8. The point fives are like, those are the worst. Just give me a solid number. Give me like a 7, an 8, a 9, or a 10. Or a 9, 5. Like if I'm getting 8, 5, 7, 5. Oh, gosh. oh, this is actually brutal. This might be one of the worst returns for graded cards that I've had in a very long time. Just nonstop. Oh, I, I'm starting to have no hope that we'll even just get a regular 10. Just a regular gold label 10. Oh, 8, 5. And a seven. Why? Why? Straight from a pack. Bill, what? What did I do? But yeah, this is literally just proof to show you guys how tough it is to get tens with Beckett. I sent the same amount of these cards out, the same cards to PSA. You guys probably saw that returns. I'll link it down below in the description if you missed it. I did get a ton of tens. Like, there were a lot of tens from that submission. And the same exact cards and everything from the same sources, the same everything. With Beckett, I'm getting destroyed. I, in comparison, I am getting destroyed. Just I should have just sent them all PSA. <laughs> all right. Let's keep rolling. Oh, 8-5. Nothing like an 8-5. 9. A little bit better. 9 is like... Okay, not, 9 is fine. It's tough with Beckett, though, because nines with Beckett are actually worth a good amount less than most of the time, not always, than PSA in Pokemon cards. It's just how it is. Um, nine. So, like, even nines with Beckett, they're not the greatest. If you and, and then, like, if you just compare it to, like, a PSA nine or something. A nine five with Beckett, it's tough to say once you get to that level, like, the comparison. But, like, nines... Uh, and I'm not like I'm lucky to get a nine with these right now. I'm lucky if I get a nine. Is this uh, gold? Okay, th uh, this is gold. This is gold. All right. Come on, come on, Bill. Ooh, nine five. Okay. If we see a gold, it's a nine five or a ten, the lower level ten than the black label. It's literally will be a black label if if we have it. Is a perfect card. I don't think we're getting any of those today at this point. But maybe. Okay. Give me a ten. A 9-5. Whew. I'm telling you, this is tough. Like, do you see this? We've probably done almost 100 cards right now, not a single 10. 9-5. Well, hopefully, like, this helps people's uh, decision if you are thinking about going with certain grading companies. I mean, it's not all about getting the higher grade, you know, consistency, accuracy, and stuff like that. It's just like, I don't know. It's just kind of, it's tough to get a, all these cards graded and then not have any 10s. It's kind of like you feel like you just didn't do too great. 
in that sort of sense, if that, if that makes sense. 8.5, you know what I mean? <sighs> but a lot of people, like in sports and stuff like that, are used to getting this kind of stuff, 8.5s, 9, 9.5s, stuff like that. I think we're just not used to it with Pokemon, so it's a little bit different. Ugh, going back down now. I feel like these come in, like, waves. We're back down to 9. 9. And, yeah, I sent a bunch of these out. These are the things that I'm going to stock up on my store. Usually I just put the graded stuff on my eBay store. Link's down below in the description. I don't even know if I'll have these up, honestly, by then. I might. I don't even think I have the Spanish cards up yet. I just, like, a lot. I just, I'm very backed up with things, so. But, yeah, eventually these should go on the store. I'll get stuff back, and I won't even put them up for, like, months. 8-5. And then five of these will be getting given away to five lucky winners as well. Make sure you enter the giveaway. Gold, please. Please. Oh, just just give me one gold. Just regular 10. I'm going to be kind of... I'm going to be very bummed if we don't get at least one... Just one 10. Eight. Oh, we're going back... We're going back down the wrong road right now. This is the bumpy road of seven fives and eights. Probably going to get a six now. Eight. Oh, my God. Oh. Six, five. Like, this is, ah, that, it, that sucks because this card right here, I guarantee you if I send this to PSA, like, at, a, at the worst case scenario would be an 8, and I honestly think it would probably be a 9 just by looking at it really quickly. Like, there's not going to be scratches on here. This is straight from a uh, sealed list or sealed promo pack. Yeah, the centering's slightly off. Probably 9 worthy. I mean, so that's the thing. It's like, this has a 6-5. Six, 6-5. Five. Six, five. Seven. These are like grades that it looked like you would get if you had played with the cards for like 20 years. And then that's what I'm getting them out of as like pack fresh or whatever. Tin fresh collection box. Like six, five. Six, five. Mmm. Got a nine. Oh man, we got an eight, five. I don't know. I don't know if this is happening. What do you guys think? Let me know your honest opinion of this PS or PSA. I'm so used to saying PSA. Beckett cards returns. That's how often I do big at cards returns, because I know if I'm going to do it, I'm going to be getting beat up pretty bad. Unless you do, like, Japanese cards, then you might be able to do pretty well, because the quality control on those is really nice. 8.5. But even a lot of the newer Pokemon English sets, the quality has been getting way better. Apparently not enough. 8.5. And we had two cards that were apparently color... <laughs> Whatever. 8.5 and, uh, oh no. 8.5. What? What? I don't want to sound like I'm complaining too much, but yeah, it's just that that is the that is it. That is the prime example of what it kind of feels like the gray with Beckett and probably the same situation with CGC are pretty similar. Not a single 10, not even a normal 10. Black label, don't even that not even in don't even don't not not even close to that. But either way, I had a fun time with these Beckett returns. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button on your way out. Click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.